Okay, found a nice little pull, found a nice little pullover area. Set it all up, got it plugged in. Just going about 30 miles. I want to see if it's a good dash cam. Um, the video quality isn't going to be too good because this is the one that I still have to return. Um, it's stuck in like 420 for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, it's supposed to run 6K, but driving down the road, it's not going to run the 6K because it's only 20 or 12 frames. So I'm going to have to put it in 4K, which runs 30 frames, or it will be uh, really glitchy. It'll show like cars skipping across. So I'm going to put it in 4K. Um, yeah 4k 30 30 frames and it's going to be running um loop recording uh the rest of this will be on there it will be muted at certain points i gotta make a few phone calls on my trip and um nobody needs to be listening but uh hopefully this helps somebody out because it does look like it could be a dash cam okay here we go turn right after three quarters of a mile yeah i have gps going i don't know where the heck the store is that i'm going to I'm going to try it out in a diff couple different modes. Um, it runs all three at once, basically, because it's um, in the, the fisheye bubble. It's looking at me right now. It's looking forward. Um, I played around with it just a little bit, and you got to make sure it's level. Turn right you after can't. a quarter of a mile. Lady, she needs to get a little bit quieter. Uh, you got to have it perfectly level. We're going to try back roads, interstate, I think interstate. Uh, just see how bouncy it is. It's on the tripod. Turn right after a quarter of a mile. Then turn left. There, I got her as quiet as she can go. Um, yeah, uh, we'll just see how bumpy it is because a normal dash cam really doesn't show bumps too much. Um, I could do a side by side with my dash cam. Please turn next left. If somebody then asks. Turn left immediately. I use a Rexine dash cam. Okay, now you guys are gonna be muted for a second because I gotta call somebody. After two miles onto US 33. Hey, this is Drake. I was drunk. <laughs> I just woke up an hour ago, but I had a few things to do before I could sit down and talk. Hey, I, I'm a month away before I hit 30. That means I'm gonna be old. So I, I got home and I'm like, I, I need a drink. And she freaking put five shots in this 40 ounce cup for me. And I was out. <laughs> then I woke up this morning, man, I had notifications from everybody. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to go piece by piece. <laughs> I, I'm really yeah they aren't motorhomes are they they're buses what just buses hey you uh when you say Connecticut you mean uh New Britain don't you yeah I, I've thought about doing them which I know I'm gonna do one but I like the train I've taken the train a few times now the train only runs from New Britain on Thursdays and Fridays. To I go to water. Yeah. Yeah. Are they open Saturdays? Yeah, cause they they uh, that train I I I'm, I come clear back to Waterloo, but I can come out of New York no problem. But coming out of uh, New Britain. It, the train only runs Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and it used to run all week. Cause when I started doing buses, I could, I, I, ugh, I don't know. I thought about towing my car, but I, I, I'm not doing that crap again. <laughs> I, I don't know if you even allow it anymore. But I found a different bracket that won't come off ever. So, but, but I don't. They, they don't have mud flaps on them buses. It just tears my car apart. Yeah, I needed to borrow one of yours to do the run, so it destroys it. <laughs> oh, you got rid of everything. God. That's a turd. <laughs> There's... What? You saying I totaled it? 
<laughs> There's probably still meat cooking under the muffler on that thing. Um, Dad, Dad said you tried to call me. I'll answer the phone, but every now and then you guys are tricking. I turn in my logbooks. It's just a little bit different. And I'm trying to teach Dad for you. I really am. But he does not like that app. Um, but I turn in my logbooks. I think I'm going to turn them in today. But I answered it the other day, and it wasn't you, and I got so pissed off. Because it was her complaining about my logbooks, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I turned them in. I've been turning them in for a year now, digitally, with no problems. And I got pissed off. I was like, I ain't answered. No more phone calls, because they're tricking me. <laughs> but... Oh, okay. So, if I turn them in, you ain't printing them off that day. You're printing them off maybe in two weeks. So, would you rather have them in every week or what? Well, I know I wasn't doing that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll uh, start turning them in every... I'll, I'll set an alarm so it goes off like every 10 days or something. Um, I got one other thing. I forgot what it was. Oh, Dad said you called, but I never had a call. You, uh, he told you said you told him there was a run to his area where he's gonna be delivered. I'll take a run like that as long as I'm home. Or you can s turn left after a quarter of a mile onto Carroll Road. Yeah. I'm always gone Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, unless they get slow. You know, gas prices keep going up. Buses are going to be a thing, but not campers. But, uh, no, I'm always I'm always on the road Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for sure, but Thursday, Friday, I'm normally home. But, uh, uh okay. Have a good one. Uh. <laughs> I'm not always asleep, because if I'm on the road, I'm awake in the morning, but, man, them Class A... Uh, motorhomes, if you're in a wind area, you cannot answer the phone. You gotta have both hands on the wheel. Yeah, and I'm drinking it up till I hit 30, and then I, I'm an old guy then. <laughs> okay, I got a month. Okay, have a good one. Be, be safe. Bye. Who likes calling their boss? No one. Hopefully it's still recording. Um, I'm gonna I should close the app with my on my phone and see how it works. connected but uh my phone is not wanting to connect oh, I see that as a problem uh, I made a phone call came back it's not wanting to do anything oh there we go nope nope it's just under the history now my phone is mounted don't freak out um, I got a little clip just clips right in, like everybody that texts and drives. And it's not looking too bad. I'm looking through at it through the uh, reconnect. It's not looking at me. Uh, it doesn't go wide enough for sure uh, when you're just to the normal menu. It is tilted to the right a little bit. Let's, let's fix that. A bit better. Whoa. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Now I'm going to be going into the city just a little bit. Um, it'll show what it looks like going slow. Uh, I did shut off loop record. The loop recording car was supposed to adjust it back. Actually, this is my buddy's car. We share it with three people. Um, 
the loop recording is just like a dash cam, where the uh, where it uh, will loop every minute, three minute, and five minute. Uh, that is a dash cam for sure. Um, I did not want that because I didn't want to have to keep piecing the video together. So uh, it's just on a continuous record right now. Hopefully we'll get somebody running a red light or not even stopping at a stop sign. That'd be great. Now the recording you're hearing on the audio is coming through the camera. Not my phone or a separate recorder. Sometimes I do voiceovers. And I'm getting tired of doing that. So that's why I haven't been really posting drone videos if anybody's been seeing them. Because I don't do the drone. And now he's got a glider. 90% of my videos now are going to be from a glider. Uh, I do a lot of unboxing videos. And if you guys want me to try something, it's very simple to get a product and review it. Somebody in my family will want it. This one I really want for myself. I really travel a lot. And uh, vlogging would be just great. I got this selfie stick that's just perfect thinking about an electric bike to go up into the mountains and all that. I've had one before and it was amazing, but uh, it was like a first generation. The battery only lasted like a year and it was toast. Now rechargeables come a long way. Turn right after a quarter of a mile. Now, um, if there is software on the computer, which there better be, um, this will be all edited in post-production. Basically, when you're recording on this device, you're recording all around you. And then in post-production, you turn it from an Earth planet to just a normal looking uh, picture. You change it in post-production. You don't change it right now. Um, I've tried and I just don't see how it does it the app it does work um, it's just not very convenient and it does not save it directly to your phone so I've played around and not found out um, it looks like I might have to take the SD card and put it into the computer or maybe plug the penguin straight into the computer as if it was like an mp3 player or something I don't really care for that I wish it just downloads straight to my device I have a 4K uh, dash cam right now, and um, you can't see the one. people's uh, license plate. Even with that, um, it runs 4K, true 4K, not 2K, um, and it don't pick up their license plates. You will arrive at your destination <coughs> on the left hand kinda side. Kind of sucks. I got 1080p miles. one, and it looks just as good as the 4K one. Also, this being a dash, trying to make this into a dash cam, it does not have the capacitors in it to withstand direct sunlight. Um, if you've ever had your phone out on a hot day, direct sunlight's hitting it, especially in your car, it'll overheat and shut down. Um, dash cams have special designs and special parts that are designed, even uh, GPSs have special designs to where they can withstand heat and cold and still work. Um, this does not. It's also black. Uh, a black that would really absorb the heat. Uh, it's more of like a fabric kind of uh, black. Uh, it'll also turn that white, white area in the penguin yellow. It'll start cracking because it's a different, it's a cheaper plastic. 
So I had to say, um, even if you kind of hide it from direct sunlight, your car still gets super hot. Mine's in direct sunlight right now, and it's three in the afternoon. It should be offset, but it's still getting in. So even if you think you're hot, you you're not. See if I can get up on there and you can see a license plate number if it's good enough for that. That's as close as I felt comfortable. Um, my dash can also has a bubble on it, but it's fixed. Um, a bubble makes it look like you're further away from the person than you really are. Uh, that was as close as I felt getting to that guy with help. Um, he pissed me off. I may have been a little bit closer, but uh, that was as close in real life as I could get to somebody. It is going to collect a lot of dirt, uh, but I'd be open to getting that type of uh, tripod again. Wasn't really open to them until I got this one. We've got another two miles to go until we're there. Nobody ran a red light, so that kind of sucks. we got to do a U-turn, I think, up here. That'll be interesting. See how the camera does it quick movements. Okay, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to stop at Walmart right after this, and uh, from there, clear to where I got to drop the car off because my buddy's heading out on the road with it. Um, that's going to be in 6K, but I think it only runs 13, 12 to 13 frames. Um, we're going to compare it, and uh, when the new camera comes in, I'm really not uh, expecting the new camera to be much better. Um, I'm also going to try it out with uh, the 6K 12 frames. Um, that's a long yellow for me. Um, we're going to test it out. You have reached your destination on the left-hand side. And here 
is my U-turn I must do, and hopefully the camera stays. Actually, we don't have to do a U-turn. They just finished this road, so this is pretty nice. Maybe a partial U-turn. Yeah, I'm gonna run the 6K and see what it's like. All right, we'll see how the camera did right there. Okay, we're pulling up on the uh, UPS store to return all the bad items from Amazon. I get a ton of them. Oh. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll get my packages and I'll be back out. Okay, on this one we are running 6K, acclaimed by it, not me. To me it's like 420p. Uh, 6K, I believe it is 12 frames a second, 12 or 13. Uh, we'll see how well it does. I, I am uh, not expecting it to do very well. Uh, up till now, it's been the 4K 30 frames a second. The audio will still be coming through the penguin. Let's see how level it looks right now. Before I get too out there. go 6k 12 frames uh, see that um, license plate in front of me if you can't see that license plate there ain't no way this is 6k and if this is what 6k looks like well we need 50k I, I'm not looking at the camera I'm just driving so I don't know what you guys can see until post-production
honestly, I would say this is an awful dash cam. Um, a, da a dash cam is cheaper than this thing. Um, dash cam runs... Um, the one I have is a Rexing 4K. It only looks forward. It was the first generation. Um, I think I paid over $100 for it. It's only uh, like 48 bucks now, which is great. Um, but I need one that looks backwards, too. There's a lot of craziness that goes on behind me. Plus, if a lady slides into me, uh, I need to get his footage. I had a lady back into the front of me one time, and she said, Oh, you hit me. And I was like, nope, dash cam. Dash cam showed her reverse lights coming right on and backing into me. So they saved so much. I have seen videos of this uh, on an ATV. Uh, they're, that, them videos are pretty nice. I'm kind of hoping that mine can compete with that. Uh, it's the same product. But it also looks like it's the owners that did the video. So they could probably be using a GoPro and then they're advertising for their penguin so they can sell off their inventory and then ditch it or make a new product that's 20k. Twenty-five, miles 25 mile an hour. Uh, you guys just watch that because uh, four wheelers do between zero and uh, I gotta take off now. A car got behind me. Um, four wheelers go up to about sixty. Mine does almost sixty. Um, yeah, you kind of need to know if it's any good for on an ATV. Uh, the bad thing about this is it's not waterproof. Um, any electronic isn't dust proof that isn't waterproof no matter what they say dust gets into every nook and cranny it's amazing how dust can just creep right in it's because electronics have like this staticness to them and dust is sucks right to it if you ever notice glass just sucks dust right up um so really for an atv this would be an awful product um, I've seen that a lot of videos where people using it for ATVs. It's not waterproof. Um, the lenses are the most outspoken thing for it. So if you get mud on it, you wipe mud off. Mud is uh, dirt, wet dirt. It's full of rocks and everything. You're going to scratch the camera right up. Um, I also contacted my buddy to see if he would put this on his race car. And he's like, well, it's not waterproof it's, it's gonna get dirt all over it i'm like well i could put a dome over it like nascar does on theirs so that's probably what we're gonna do but the videos i see where this thing's just mounted right to a vehicle that's just absurd um even a hundred dollars for this uh it's not throwaway chump change uh a hundred dollars can, can go a long way to anybody uh so um i don't really think it's made for any of that i think it's this one's basically made for a blogger uh, walking through the woods, a, bi a bike, um, we're good for a bike. I just disconnected from my phone and I'm, uh, trying to reconnect to it. I don't quite know what happened there. I don't even know if it's recording right now. It says it is. Eight minutes in. Um, don't know what happened there. I do notice like the Insta360 has a little uh, camera on it. It shows you what all it's doing. That's pretty nice because you, other than a light on on this thing, that's all you know if it's recording. And uh, I've already had it jam up once and had to do a restart, uh, reset by pushing in the button on the side with a little pin. Um, so it could be frozen the whole time you're doing your content. Um, you know, I really don't see many uses for this until it becomes waterproof. Uh, 
sleeping and all that, it's not going to do good. Because when you look at my face, it, it looks really bad. It's already naturally bad, but the camera makes it worse. We're doing um, about 60 right now. Uh, a little bit faster than what a four-wheeler could do. Uh, you could use them with a snowmobile, maybe. Um, that'd be cool. Uh, I did adventure with the VR on this accidentally. I didn't even know what I was doing. Uh, that is super cool. Um, yeah, I, I like the VR part of it, but, you know, it's just like uh, Crocs and the Wii and all that. It's exciting for a week, and then it's, then it's over. 3D TVs. that corner. I ain't no driving instructor. I'm going to drive like a real person. Crazy one. You know, on the video, I'm probably going to look to the right and left. Uh, it's probably not going to do very well. I'm going to do it in the 4K and the uh, 6K. Just look to the right a little bit, look to the left. Um, 12 frames, I'm not expecting it to show anything at a speed of 60. I could do 45 on, I got back road coming up, I could do 45 on it. Please turn next right. charging it while driving. Uh, it only has 50 minute battery life on 4K. I showed you at the beginning of the video, it's still set up like that. I just took it down so nobody can steal it at Walmart. turn on this road and try to do 25 mile an hour, which if you're a four-wheeler and doing a lot of off-roading, you're not doing 40 mile an hour um, on straightaways, yeah, but if you're climbing rocks, going through uh, dried up mud, that kind of stuff, you're, you're not doing 40 mile an hour, it'd throw you right off the thing. Uh, you're normally doing 25 or under. So I'll see how long I can do 25 since so somebody comes up behind me, I'm getting the heck out of here. And uh, yeah, this will be the end of the video. Uh, 4K, 6K, 30 frames, 12 frames, so it claims. Um, yeah, here we, here we go. 25 mile an hour. Turn right after two miles. Uh -huh. Takes a lot to get to 25 mile an hour. Uh, here we go. That is 25 mile an hour. 24, 25 mile an hour. My car is probably saying, "What are you doing?" Still doing 25, amazing. I'm gonna look at it through my phone because 25 feels like I'm getting passed by a snail. That is in 6K. 
uh, with the SD card in too. It's only allowing me two hours and 18 minutes of recording, which seems like a lot, but sometimes uh, I'm out and about and I, I think I'll need more than two hours. Um, it just doesn't seem like a lot. And when I lowered the resolution down, the time did not go up. Yeah, it looks really uh, framey. Like frame, 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 frame. That is at 25. I can't go slower than that or my car will probably just die. Um, it's cool just being able to look around. Okay, I should have done a 25 mile an hour with the 4K, but uh, that will be fine. I'm sure I came up to a stoplight, and you can see that. All right, here is 40 mile an hour and four, uh, right there, 40 mile an hour, Seth Cruz, 40 mile an hour and 6K. So if you're doing like a drag race or something with a four-wheeler or um, drag race in a Honda. There's your top speed right there at 40. Let's go, uh, let's go 50 because we're in a uh, Ford now drag racing. And we probably just broke down right here. We're going to have to pull over to the side of the road. We know the camera would work good there. So if you're a Ford user, no, nah, I like all cars. All cars are badass. Unless you're like a Prius first generation. <laughs> all cars, all vehicles need maintenance, so it doesn't matter what you buy. Unless it's a PT Cruiser. Gotta say that, if things are crap. Electrical problems out the butt. Well, this is us doing 50. Um, I would say that's about max for most four-wheelers. Especially in a field. If you're on the, uh, the road, yeah, you can probably do a little bit faster, but... Your eyes start squinting because the air is hitting so hard. This would be really good for uh, skydiving too. I don't think they allow you to take your own camera though. They normally make you pay extra. At least the time I went skydiving, uh, I paid extra for the camera and all that. They had cameras strapped to their arms and everything. Okay, well that about sums up the video of if it can be a dash cam or not. Um, I wouldn't use it for a dash cam mainly because a dash cam is cheaper than this. Um, I would use it for an ATV or quad or something if I'm making a YouTube video, I guess. Um, I really don't see the need for this one at least. If it was waterproof, heck yeah, it'd be an excellent device. Or if you could waterproof it somehow, but most likely you're going to get a smudge on whatever you're using if you're using a glass dome. Um, it's it, it, you're gonna have to clean it all the time. Um, other than that, I think it's just kind of a blogger. Or if somebody's riding a uh, bike, bike would work really good, I guess. If you're a cyclist, it don't weigh anything, so uh, it's not like you're adding a pound to yourself. Um, yeah, I hope this video helps somebody out. And you just fell on the floor. <laughs> Thanks for watching.